Being precise can make a good day of fishing a great day. And what I mean by that is always making sure that the presentation you're fishing is in the exact strike zone that you want. But one of the things with Fireline that Berkeley's now done is they've made what's called metered Fireline. And you can actually see it looks pretty cool on the spool right here. It's just different high vis colors. There's five colors in this metered fire line, 10 foot increments. But what that does for you in a lot of different presentations is it keeps your baits exactly where you want them. A bridge pillar, for example, what we found is almost any river system, these bridges are some of the best places to catch a bunch of walleyes. Because what it's doing is those pillars are diverting current. And walleyes like to sit out of the main current, so they're sitting real tight to these pillars. But especially in the summer months, they can easily be suspended. Out on Lake Oahe, like we are here, some of these bridges are in 110 feet of water, and guys are catching fish 30, 40 feet down. But now, I always can know I'm in that strike zone, simply by if I wanna get that bait 40 feet down, I let four high-vis colors out and I know I'm right where I need to be and I start catching fish. Another presentation that walleye anglers fish a ton of are bottom bouncer techniques. And one of the things that you see a lot of anglers do is probably let out too much line when they're fishing bottom bouncers. You want those bouncers to just be ticking bottom. If you let out too much line, they're going to be dragging on the bottom and not fishing your presentation correctly. But now you can actually dial it in with these different colors, the 10 foot increments. But the last technique I wanna tell you about that we do a ton of is trolling crankbaits up real shallow with believe it or not spinning gear. And the reason we do that is because you can get a quick deploy. You basically just flip that maybe flicker shad number four or five back behind the boat because a lot of times there's gonna be weeds, rocks, things like that. You wanna make sure that that bait's running in the strike zone. So now you're having that built-in line counter with all those fire line capabilities.